Hey, Gemini, it's with a reading for anyone who resonates with Gemini, whether you have Gemini in your sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign. Um, this reading could really resonate with, with anyone with Gemini strongly in their chart. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I will, I do have a different format, Gemini, that I'll be, that I'll be doing, um, this reading and, ooh, your energy is quite interesting when I get into your energy. My, my introduction is even different. It's, it's like kind of jittery kind of energy. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's almost like an excited, um, an excited energy, uh, like a hopping energy. Um, th there will be an extended reading, Gemini, in which I will take this situation out several months in, into the future. And I'll look at the people who are around you. I'll dig into their energy and I'll look how they, what their perspective is when they connect in with Gemini. So I'll kind of see what their perspective of you is. And I'll look at, um, see if I can dig deeper into their general energy that's around them. All right. I do, I do have a different format this week. I'm excited about it. It lets me um, go into a free form with my readings, which I really like to do. It's, it's something that I think I'm, I, I feel excited doing and um, I'm excited about it showing you what, what this looks like. I do this more often in my extended readings. So kind of bringing it forward into the general readings just a little bit. So let's see what's here for you in the next week or two. What's here for you in the next week or two. Um, what is the Gemini energy? Looking directly into the Gemini energy now. Looking directly into the Gemini energy. We have a nine of, of swords and it did come in sort of diagonally. Um, we have a Knight of Cups energy here as well. And we have a Four of Pentacles energy that is sort of lateral. All right, let's look and see what the environment is, is around you. So this is the internal energy. This is your internal energy and this is the environment around you. This is your external world um, that we're going to put over here. So looking at your external world, the external world for Gemini. External world. What is going on in the world around you, in the environment around you? What is going on in the environment around you? Ten of Wands in reverse. That's beautiful. Well done, Gemini. All right, let's let's dig into your energy first, into your internal energy, the energy that is within you. I kind of like to think of this as a more feminine energy, and this would be a more masculine, but, you know, this is you going into action. This is your external world. This is your inner self. And um, it looks like, you know, you have been through a period of worry with the Nine of Swords. That's nothing... Um, that's that's somewhat realistic, I think, with the with the Nine of Swords being there, being really worried about something, anxious, might be having trouble sleeping at night, might be just stressed out, uh, might be depressed, um, might have a hard time sleeping. Really, with the Nine of Swords, um, there is um, an energy of love here, and this is an energy of movement. So I think you're doing some work in in the heart space, or you are overcome with emotion, or you could be going through a very moody period of time, or you could be in love with something. Um, there's love is on, instead of saying love is on the mind, well, it is on the mind, but love is within the heart and is affecting, it is affect, love is on the mind. Love is on the mind. The heart space is having some sort of effect on your mind, on your thoughts. Now, Love, the Knight of Cups is an energy of forward movement and love, taking taking steps, moving forward in, in the heart space. This could be something with romance. This could be something with compassion and kindness for your family members or for yourself. Um, this could be um, moving forward and, and stepping forward into something that you're doing and feeling very inspired about it, but also feeling worried about it. The internal energies are harder. Um, it's harder for me to get into as an Aquarius, and it's harder also for Gemini um, to be in a more um, in, in a more emotional space. So it, this could be somewhat difficult for you um, to step into. We do have the Four of Cups here in the lateral. So 
I think though that you're releasing something, you're letting go of something. You're, 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 it's, it's like it's surrendering in. Like, what can you do? What can you do? I mean, what is there to do? It's almost like a surrendering into this situation. Whether this is a love offer that's here or whether this is trying to do what's best for you, what's, what brings wellness and well being into your own heart, what helps you feel stable and calm, what helps you feel love around you, what helps you feel healthy about yourself and secure in your own life. What helps you feel cozy and warm and protected and what helps you feel loved, right? And something here is affecting that and you're worried about it. It's causing some stress here. But I do feel this group of Gemini people are kind of surrendering into this. Like, well, I might as well go with it. I might as well roll with it because, I mean, it's no longer fitting. It's no longer, I can never, I can no longer fit through this hole. Right? I can no longer fit through this hole. I might as well go over this wall. I might as well scale the wall because I can't go through the hole anymore. See, it's interesting. I've never really noticed this about this card. Those of you that are more observant, because <laughs> um, I usually see abstract things, those of you that are more observant might have noticed this. But this wall is really not all that high. So I think that pretty soon there's going to be this realization that this wall is not that high. And sure, there might be some spider webs on the other side, or you're not really sure what's on the other side of that wall, but you know that there's a pathway here because there's a doorway there. So you know that there's a pathway. So you know what it looks like over there. You just are going to have to scale the wall, I think. And I think that there's some realization that there just might be a different way of doing it. So what's happening around you in the situation around you, um, there could be another person here. We do have a Knight of Wands. Um, there could be another person here who's quite excited about life, uh, moving forward at a very fast pace, very enthusiastic maybe very passionate, um, could be passionate for you or passionate for life or passionate about a situation that they're in. Um, I, I think that there is an energy around you of really trying to figure out, okay, what's priority? What is a priority? What is the list? You know, what is a top 10 list and, and how are we going to prioritize those top 10 things? Um, what's the schedule going to look like? How are we going to make this happen? It's a lot about making decisions about everyday life, making decisions perhaps about money. Should I do this first or that? Or what should I do first? And where should I end up? And what, where should I be next week? And what are we going to do with this money? And what are we going to do with this money? It's, it's, it's about, it's a pinnacle energy. So it's like a reality type of energy. And this is an energy of like, It's an energy of juggling, an energy of prioritization, um, list keeping, marking things off, organization, calendaring, those kind of energies. So it's an energy of organization here and really kind of decide, like, what do I do first? And then what do I do next? Um, it is something, there is something very passionate and exciting going on around you. Could be a person, could be you in this energy. We do have two movement energies here. You could be really, if this is you, you could be really caring for yourself here with the Knight of Cups. And then when you go out into your day, you could be very passionate and doing something um, in a very strong way. You could be helping a lot of people or you could be doing something that would normally scare you, but you're able to do it now. You've been like pushed into something and you're just using all of your might and all of your willpower and all of your energy to step into it. At home, you might be doing what is best for you resting, eating well, sleeping, um, giving yourself time, thinking about how you can do it differently, um, surrendering into something, stop, not fighting it so much internally, just kind of surrendering at night, thinking, well, I'm just going to surrender into this. I'm just going to let this have to happen. I'm going to have to step into this because um, it's it's no longer the same as it used to be. 
It's no longer the same as it used to be. The Ace of Swords is here in your environment. So um, I, I do feel like there is a solution here coming for you. There is an answer. There is clarity. There, there, the confusion is going to be swept away. And I think this action is going to help is going to help this confusion. Whatever this is, whether this Knight of Wands is a person that's part of this journey for you, or this is your energy when you're out in your external world where people can see you, um, I, I think that there's going to be some sort of a solution here or an answer here. Um, if anything, there's going to be more clarity within your mind. So you have peace. You have mind peace. And when you have mind peace, uh, that, that really helps you to um, be able to take action when you're confused within the mind center. Um, it, it could really be hard to actually go into action because your thoughts could be hindering your body. Remember the brain is, is the control panel to the body. And if the brain is not functioning in a clear way, in a way that helps, um, to bring, stability and and a plan and strategy then the body sometimes the energy centers sometimes have a hard time kicking in it's like a diesel engine that runs out of gas in the middle of the winter right it takes a while for the body to kick in for the engine to start again when it does that um we do have the ten of wands here and the ten of wands is in reverse so I mean, I, I think you're really trying to get yourself out or you're really working to get yourself out of a situation that was really totally overwhelming for you. It was very difficult for you to see your way out. Um, I do think you're making your way out because thank goodness it's in reverse. So you've been working quite hard. I, I've been saying lately in my readings that it is a hard thing to do to get out of the Ten of Wands. It's not so easy to just say, well, we're finishing up a situation that was really exhausting for you. Well, how do we finish those situations up? How do we exit out of situations that are hard, that control us, that are diminishing to us, that leave us in depletion? Do they just all of a sudden, does somebody wave a magic wand and they just drop away? Never in my experience has that happened. I mean, maybe there are people that have magic wands that they can wave them around and things happen. But i never in my experience have, have I ever been able to get out of the wands, out of the Ten of Wands without a lot of really difficult work. Saying no, saying maybe later, saying not right now, saying I, I'm going to give this job back to you. It's not really part of my job description, right? Whatever you have to do, if this is a relationship or this is a spouse, there's changes that you're making in that relationship that make it more fair for you. But all in all, I do think in the next seven days or so, you are going to feel lighter. You are going to feel excited about life. You are going to step into experiences that um, you might not have been able to step into before. And I think this feels really good. I think you have clarity. The answer is coming to you. And you will be able to prioritize and make decisions and juggle and get through day by day by by being present in the moment day by day um, so that you can step out of this really difficult situation that you were in. And I'm saying that you were in because I see that it is coming out of your existence. It is making its way. Um, it's in your rear view mirror. Let's say it that way. It's in your rear view mirror. And um, I think you're on your way forward now in a different type of experience. So let's dig a little bit deeper into some of these energies and see what we can find. And then um, in the extended, we'll go out a couple of months and we'll look at the people who are around you. So for right now, let's look deeper and see what we can find. Um, tell us more about this Knight of Cups. Tell us more about this Knight of Cups, please. Tell us more about this Knight of Cups. World energy with the King of Wands. Now the King of Wands, this could be the King of Wands because here's how the King of Wands moves. So we have a King of Wands. Now you can be starting up a relationship or you could be falling in love with an Aries Leo or Sag or somebody who's very fiery, someone who's very passionate. Um, you could be starting a new adventure um, with that kind of a person. doesn't have to be a love situation. can be a partnership at work or could be starting a business or could be someone within your family. Um, this could also be your energy. You could take on the King of Wands and, and you could be beginning to create something for yourself. We do see the world energy here. So whatever you're feeling inspired by, whatever you're feeling in love with, 
It's something that you're working to bring into fruition. It's something that is starting to bud. It's starting to come into existence here with a world energy. And it feels big. It could feel really big. It could feel really wide. Um, it could feel very like you're not really sure where it's going, but it feels like it could be super amazing. It feels like it could be like the most amazing love story, or it feels like it could be the most exciting experience, or it feels like you could be on the prep, prep, is that the word? Sorry. Um, you could be at the, the edge of a, um, a, of a beautiful new beginning and it's hard to really see where it's going to go, but it could feel like very exciting and you could feel very at, in awe with it. Now that's kind of the King of Wands energy. The King of Wands energy is a masculine energy that um, is a, a builder kind of an energy, a designer, a creator, a performer, a presenter, very dramatic energy, very strong energy, a good talker, a heart talker. This person, when they talk, they can really, um, people really pay attention to when they talk because they use their heart center and they really feel what they're saying and they're really into it and they really can draw people to them. And um, this, these people can be very attractive, very beautiful kinds of, kinds of people. Um, they really are able to walk through their fear, to overcome fear and to step into the unknown. Um, without the King of Wands energy, I don't know where we would be as a society. I don't know where we would be as a world because the King of Wands really brings in that dynamic spark of creation and this explosive energy that really steps into new ideas, that steps into new um, uh, new versions and, and um, invents new things and, and really can um, be quite fearless about stepping into new frontiers. It feels like the King of Wands would be the pioneers. They would be the travelers. Um, they would be the, the performers that can get up and, and perform something in front of other people and um, really allow that energy to flow through them. They, they can also channel. They can channel energy through them. Um, so it's a very dynamic kind of energy. It's a moving and shaking kind of energy. Um, and it's something that's new. It's something that's exciting, that feels big feels like it could really be something very, very powerful in your experience. Let's look at this Knight of Wands. All right, let me put these energies over here. And now let's look at this Knight of Wands energy. Looking at the Knight of Wands energy now. More about the Knight of Wands. King of Swords. So, you know, this could be your energy. This could be you moving forward in this excited way in life. And um, this is, this person could be coming towards you. This could be an Aquarius or a Libra or anyone here who's a decider, a decision maker, a big picture thinker, um, a humanitarian, um, in this picture, this is, looks like it's, it's a doctor or a, an advisor or an attorney, uh, someone like that. Someone who helps to bring justice to people, to help bring fairness and equality into people's lives. King of Swords. Tell us more about the Knight of Wands. So there's something here that, um, that there's some choices here. There's some decisions to be made. Um, this person could be... Um, if this is a person or if this is you, they're busy here trying to find the answers to some options. So they could be, they could have some choices here that they need to decide on. Eight of Pentacles. I think this could be about work or it could be about something that they're really passionate about. They're really not able to think about really anything else right now. I think that they're pretty stuck. The Knight of Wands can become quite obsessed about something, especially if the Knight of Wands is passionate about it. Um, they're so passionate about it. They're so driven. It's like their body and their heart center and their soul doesn't really let them think about anything else. Like there's something here to be done and there's nothing else that they can really think about. So it looks like there's some options here that they're trying to figure out what to do, how to see the big picture of this, how to decide how to be fair in this, how to really dig deep into each of these options, because the King of Swords can put these puzzles together, can really find the 
the the the information, the tidbits of information, the the clues can really put a puzzle together um, to find answers. So this person is busy here um, in a very passionate way trying to decide. They could be going from option to option. They could be a little bit um, confused, but still moving forward very passionately. I think this is going to be figured out because um, they're not losing any kind of focus here. They're staying focused. What does the Knight of Wands have to say? What does the Knight of Wands have to say? Trying to get something moving, trying hard to get something going here. And making some sort of, there's a two, I knew that two of wands was going to come out. Trying to figure out which way to go and how to do this. Get ready to get it started. This Knight of Wands is ready to get it started. And remember, we had a two of pentacles above the Knight of Wands as well. So um, I think there's like a strategy game, how to do it, what to do first, how to do it. Remember, the two of wands is um, how to do it, how to take action. Do I do it quickly? Do I do it slowly? Do I go this way? Do I go uphill? Do I go downhill? Right? It's a strategy game. And something is needing to get going. You're You're ready. This person is ready to go. They just need to figure how exactly they're going to do it, but that they have the energy, they have the desire, they have the spontaneity, they have the willpower, they're fueled up and ready to go with the Knight of Wands. But they just have to decide how they're going to do this. Knight of Cups. It is a wish come true. It did kind of fall in like this, didn't it? So it's, it's a wish come true here. It's something that they've been working towards for a long time. They've been wanting this and, and working towards this for a long time. It's very fulfilling. It warms the heart. It's enjoyment of life. It's happiness. It's not everything because it's not the Ten of Cups, but it's pretty darn close. Pretty darn close here. Queen of Pentacles, so could be looking at money, could be making business decisions, could be very looking at the details. So this person could be like the King of Swords here, could be looking at the details to try to find an answer. Could be a very Virgo quality. Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Looking at the details. Working hard, being reliable, being responsible, continuing forward. So this is going to happen. It's the passion for it. It's the groundedness of it. It's going to bring in stability. It's this wish that is coming true that just needs to get off the ground. It just needs to happen. The wheel needs to begin to turn. But before the wheel can turn, I think that there's some sort of strategy here to be decided upon. Some kind of strategy to be decided upon here. Make sure all my cards are right. Now I did put, I accidentally put the Two of Pentacles back in the deck. That's okay, I just can't forget that the Two of Pentacles was here. Give me a second. See if I can find it really quick. I don't want to take up too much time. Oh, all right. I might find it as I work. All right. Um, oh, no. Here's the Two of Pentacles. Let's look and see what the Ace of Swords is here. Let's look and see what the Ace of Swords is. What is this Ace of Swords? Tell us more about this Ace of Swords. Tell us more about the Ace of Swords. Nine of Wands. Six of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. So there's some sort of answer that comes in or a realization or a decision that's being made. I think when this decision is made, there's a lot of tiredness. But I think that this situation is, is on its way. Like a lot of the work has already been done. 
I think it's not really time to quit. It's not really a good time to quit because you're, you've made it this far. You're at a nine. You've made it this far. Sometimes the hardest things are to figure out exactly how to finish something or how to come up with the final details or how to, you know, it's always easy to start a project or to start a plan or to create a business plan, but then to finish it, to get it approved or to get it totally done, it, it does take maybe a little bit more work than, than one thinks it will. So there is kind of a tiredness here. Um, but this is something that affects the soul. This is something that affects the heart and the soul. It's something that runs deep. Um, it could, this could be about family. It could be about longtime friends. It could be about a soulmate. It could be about a, a, a legacy or a namesake. It could be about old times and, and memories and, it could have a feeling of nostalgia about it. So it could be something that you are connected to emotionally. And maybe it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to other people, but it's something that really pulls at you. It really is part of your soul. And I think that you're not really willing to, to stop at this point. You're, you're moving forward. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So there, you know, here's that Queen of Pentacles again. Attention to detail, hard work, responsibility the backbone of the economy, the implementer, the doer, the money counter, the money regulator, the administrative executive, right? So there is this detail now about money perhaps or about tools or resources. Um, there is a need for stability and the Queen of Pentacles will work hard to reach her goals. And usually her goals have something to do with stability, feeling safe about money, feeling like there's a long-term plan put in place and, and really doing the work that it takes to really cement that in and, and to make that feel secure and safe and real. Um, there could be, you know, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Feminine here as well. That's a part of this story. But there is some sort of realization or some clarity that comes in that really helps um, this situation move forward in a, in a peaceful way. It helps solve a problem here with the Ten of Wands. It's a solution to a problem. Let's look quickly at the, at the Two of Pentacles to see what we can get here with the Two of Pentacles. Oh, what did I just put back? Ace of Swords, all right. Let's look really quickly at the Two of Pentacles, and I think I think we've kind of got out of this reading pretty much what's here um let's what's the two of pentacles tell us more about this two of pentacles seven of wands knight of swords there you are gemini ten of pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So, I mean, I think that there is something here that you're trying to figure out how you're going to protect this, how you're going to build it, how are you going to keep it safe, how are you going to speak for yourself, how are you going to keep it clean, how are you going to keep it pure, how are you going to keep other people's mitts off of it, right? And in a way, you could even be somewhat protective of it. Like, you could be defensive of it, protective of it. You might be hiding it. There's something here that you're trying to figure out how to do and make decisions around. And it's something that you're advocating for or you're protecting with the Seven of Wands. It is an energy that will really keep you safe while you're taking action. So you might be trying to protect yourself while you're stepping forward into this new journey, into this new, into this new um, adventure that you're going on, especially with the Knight of Wands energy, that excited energy. Or 
we, we do have the Knight of Swords here. So this is movement. This is the way you move, Gemini. This is a natural, something about making these decisions and um, stepping through this process and, and really trying to shuffle things around in a way that's comfortable. It is a natural ability. You will find yourself very comfortable doing this. I think that you have a sense of excitement about this as well. We have um, now we have three knights coming out in this reading and we have two of the fast moving um, powerful knights. We have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So um, I, I I think that you you are feeling quite excited about this. This is kind of just right up your alley. This is something that feels very good to you. And I think that um, the way you're able to express yourself and the way you're able to move forward is fits right within your natural abilities. It's something that you just, it's its like a um, a, a life skill or, or it was, it, you were born with this ability or it's just such a natural talent for you. And you're just able to storm right into this and, and, um, and really with, with the winds that you bring into this, into this new experience, you're able to really make some changes, make some sweeping changes here in your life. Um, we do have the 10 of pentacles here and the 10 of pentacles talks about, um, security. What do I mean by security? I mean, you just feel safe. You feel secure. Um, you feel stable. So there, there's something here that you're working on. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Um, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So this is a lot about being grounded, feeling stable, um, needing the income, wanting to have abundance. Um, there's a goal here of really um, long-term success and um, long-term gain of assets, long-term wealth accumulation. Um, so... It's not something that I feel like you have to be successful right away, but there is an urgency and you do have the energy for it because we have these powerful nights. We have these powerful energies. Uh, this, this idea of this new project or this new goal or whatever you're working on here with the three of pentacles, um, it is something that you feel will bring you a lot of stability with the 10 of pentacles and it's in its fueling this groundedness, this financial generosity or this financial um, stabilization here is helping to fuel you. So what you might not have had passion for before, you might not have had the strength to do before, you're really able to move into this um, this process of, of deciding and um, getting into action every day because the Two of Pentacles is also like living in the moment and doing what you need to do every day and and making sure that everything is done every day and, and it does take a lot of discipline to be in this energy two of pentacles can be an energy that takes a lot of discipline it can be an energy that takes work uh, but i see that there is something here that's really fueling this for you is really giving you a lot of energy and it's a stability and this excitement for the abundant nature of whatever this is for you, whether it's a relationship, a job, a project, a, a community effort, whatever it is, it's something that you're able to speak about, to express yourself about, and to move forward with in your own natural way. And, and all of these energies have to do with this Two of Pentacles, deciding, juggling, making lists, getting through all the details, crossing things off your list. It's about details and the organization of details. Okay, I think that's it for this reading. I am going to move into the extended now. And, and in the extended, we'll take this out a couple of months time. We'll also look at the, at the players that are around you, the energies that are around these people, and how they fit in with Gemini, how they think about you, their perspectives of the Gemini energy. We'll kind of get a better idea of that as well. All right, my friends, thank you for letting me do this kind of fun reading with you. I'll, I'm going to keep doing this. It's fun. It, it, it allows me to be more creative in my work. And I think it's really fun to dig into these energies and see we can what we can find here. Um, thank you for giving me th this opportunity. I'm wishing all of you the best. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you back here in a week or so with, it, with another update um, for the Gemini energy. Thank you very much, my friends. Bye.